the extinction of dinosaurs stands as one of the most captivating tales in the field of paleontology. For much of the past century, the question regarding the demise of the dinosaurs has been a topic of extensive debate. Scholars believe that their disappearance can be attributed to an occurrence over 66 million years ago, known as the KT extinction event. This event was triggered by a colossal asteroid impact on Earth, resulting in the creation of a dust cloud that obscured the sun and hindered plant growth. Consequently, this led to scarcities of food, causing plant-eating dinosaurs to face starvation. Although certain dinosaur species managed to survive for a period afterward, they too eventually met their end. Well, this theory is heavily supported by many scientists, and we have tons of evidence supporting this hypothesis. But there is a big problem with this theory. Till now, scientists do not know where the deadly asteroid came from. Some scientists are even questioning how an asteroid impact could be so precise that it completely wiped out the existence of dinosaurs. In a new study, paleontologist Kunio Kaiho of Tohoku University and atmospheric chemist Naga Oshima of Japan's Meteorological Research Institute found something startling about this asteroid. They say that the impact of the asteroid was so precise that if the impact had occurred elsewhere on Earth, the dinosaurs would have survived, because only 13% of Earth's surface had enough organic matter to generate this devastating soot. Kunio Kaiho said, if the asteroid had hit the low-medium hydrocarbon region on Earth, which covers about 87% of Earth's surface, the mass extinction could not have occurred. The possibility of such a precise impact of an asteroid is very rare in nature. The findings of this research have prompted certain scientists to propose that the extinction event might not have been a result of a natural catastrophe. Instead, they suggest that an advanced extraterrestrial civilization could have deliberately dispatched an asteroid to eliminate the dinosaurs with the intention of fostering the development of intelligent life on our planet. These researchers also contend that numerous celestial bodies, like asteroids and comets, might be under the control of alien entities in our vicinity. Oumuamua, for instance, stands as an exemplar of these alien-controlled entities, having entered our solar system a few years back. If this claim is true, is it possible for an advanced civilization to influence the biological evolution of a planet with its advanced technology? Well, most scientists believe that the most advanced civilizations of the Kardsev scale would have acquired unimaginable technology to control celestial bodies, and we humans are also not safe from this advanced civilization. The extinction of dinosaurs was not a natural disaster, and we should not rule out this possibility. If this claim is true, how did any civilization acquire such powerful technologies, and do we have any evidence about their existence? And why are scientists afraid of them? Well, all the answers to these questions lie in the possible solutions to the Fermi paradox, and the final solution to the Fermi paradox stunned everyone, hinting that the most advanced civilization may have sent that deadly asteroid to Earth. The universe is huge. Even our imagination bounds itself to a limit before we can think about the size of our universe. Within this immense space, human beings inhabit a habitable planet orbiting a star in an unfamiliar galaxy. When we take the time to observe the stars at night, a question naturally arises. Could there be other beings out there? Are we alone in this universe? Well, it is quite difficult to answer these questions as of now. Unfortunately, finding answers to these questions is currently challenging due to the lack of concrete evidence supporting the existence of extraterrestrial life. The immense scale of the universe, numerous hypotheses, have been put forth to elucidate the potential existence of alternative life forms within the universe. Paradoxically, among these suppositions, one posits the intriguing notion that we might be the only ones here. The rare earth hypothesis argues that a confluence of very specific environmental factors is responsible for Earth's ability to support complex life. 
These same factors are very unlikely to be so finely tuned for worlds elsewhere in the universe. An English science fiction writer, Sir Arthur Charles Clarke, once said, two possibilities exist. Either we are alone in the universe, or we are not. Both are equally terrifying. But if the universe is so full of the ingredients for alien life, why haven't we found any yet? Or more pertinently, considering how young humans are compared to the age of the universe, 13.8 billion years, why haven't any aliens found us? This question is known as the Fermi Paradox, named for Italian physicist Enrico Fermi. Fermi's paradox is attributed to three main categories of theories, each comprising various subsidiary explanations. These span from plausible scenarios like the existence of intelligent life transmitting signals that we're unable to detect, to seemingly far-fetched ideas such as extraterrestrials, treating Earth as a zoo for their amusement. These theories stem from diverse fields like astronomy, biology, philosophy, economics, and even science fiction. Here are the three main categories. It's possible that habitable planets like Earth are rarer than we think. Even if there are billions in the Goldilocks zone situated at the appropriate distance from their suns, maybe gamma rays or asteroid bombardment or other dangers from space prevented life from developing. In a 1998 essay, George Mason economics professor Robin Hansen proposed the idea of a great filter, something along the path between simple dead stuff and explosive life that is very difficult or even impossible to move beyond. If the filter is somewhere in the early days of life's beginnings, that would explain why no other planet has proven capable of nurturing life. If we are really alone in this vast universe, then the extinction of the dinosaurs could be a natural disaster. There is a possibility that life on other planets may not have developed intelligence yet. The other life that exists isn't capable of reaching out. Earlier this year, NASA's chief scientist Ellen Stofan boldly predicted that we would find indications of life beyond Earth in the next 10 to 20 years. But what we find won't be little green men, we are talking about little microbes. Another sub-explanation is that they are communicating, but either their signals haven't reached us, or they have, and we don't know how to recognize them. Perhaps, as the astronomer Carl Sagan mentioned, our brains might not be able to understand messages from aliens. It could be because their signals are too quick for us to catch, like a blink, or they might be too slow, like a turtle, making their messages seem like just random noise. If this second sub-explanation is true, then it is likely that a civilization more advanced than us may have wiped out the dinosaurs from the Earth. Now we come to the third solution. Scientists are saying that if this solution to the Fermi paradox is true, then there is a high probability that an advanced civilization may have interfered with the biological evolution of the Earth, and the asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs from Earth must have been sent by a highly advanced civilization for a purpose. Advanced beings of great intelligence might have visited our planet prior to humanity's capacity for documentation. They might have left some clues behind, like some people think aliens built the pyramids. But these aliens probably didn't care about humans because maybe we were too dumb for them, or our planet didn't have what they needed. Or maybe they're actually here and in charge, but we don't know. It's even possible that we're related to aliens while substantial scientific evidence contradicts the notion that we are alien descendants, the possibility can't be entirely ruled out. It's plausible that a more evolved civilization might find the idea of physical colonization outdated, instead achieving their objectives through alternative means on Earth. This perspective aligns with Michio Kaku's hypothesis that extraterrestrial intelligence operates on a higher level than our own limited consciousness. If this solution is true, and super-intelligent beings have already arrived on Earth and are living among us, 
Then, there is a high probability that they intervened in Earth's history, and that the deadly asteroid impact that caused the extinction of the dinosaurs could not have been a natural disaster. By the way, scientists are also saying that whatever civilizations are hidden from our eyes and living among us, we should know about them, because they are more advanced than us. Well, how the dinosaurs died out is still a matter of debate. It could have been a natural disaster, but some observations suggest that it was deliberately done by highly intelligent creatures. Well, these are just some weird theories, but it's a big universe, and we've only made it as far as the edges of our solar system. You never know what is possible 